So sometimes you got to call it like you see it. Call it like you see it. We were loving Tulsi Gabbard there for a while, but oh boy, did Tulsi Gabbard take the plunge this week, at least in my opinion. I don't know what's your opinion. But my opinion on the BDS, the uh, resolution 246, the uh, BDS, anti BDS law that she signed in conjunction with, I don't know, 385 other congressmen. Uh, what a, what a blunder, right? So, so, you know, the other day I, I did a piece on this. I just like to, to, uh, to reemphasize. I did some, a little homework and Tulsi Gabbard was so kind. She was kind enough to offer her, her clarification on the situation. She, Tulsi Gabbard put out a two minute video that we're going to watch together. And then we're going to talk about the rule itself and see where Tulsi Gabbard is basically full of shit. I had is, is, uh, is doing that old politician it didn't take long before Tulsi's up there doing the politician twist. She's doing that little sidestep, that little sidestep, right? Am I, am I exaggerating? Well, let's listen. Let's listen to Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, the, she's definitely an Iraqi war, war veteran. You heard? Some of you. You know, I, I, I tell you, I gotta, my, my only gift, if there is a gift to do this, is that I'm a pretty good judge of character, and I, was, I, I did her, her, her rally there, and I talked to her people, and it just, it just... I don't know. I just got that feeling of someone that someone someone with an agenda, someone that um, didn't didn't necessarily have the interest of the American people first. It, it's a, it's a similar it's a similar thing that I got with Obama. It's just a similar sense. And uh, again, that's just opinion. I'm a, I'm allowed to have an opinion, and that was that was my initial opinion. Not before I met her, but when I met her, and then thereafter, I, I just I just got this this sense, and I think my my uh, intuition on Tulsi Gabbard is right. So listen to Tulsi. Some of you have sent me messages uh, and posted on social media asking for more information about why I voted the way I did on a recent resolution talking about BDS. So I wanted to uh, give you some background and talk to you about. Uh, my commitment to defending our First Amendment rights. Nothing is more fundamental to the identity of our country than the rights and freedoms that are enshrined in our Constitution. Now, I've fought to defend these freedoms both as a soldier and a Congresswoman, and it's why I will continue to oppose unconstitutional legislation like S-1, a bill that does seek to restrict freedom of speech by imposing legal penalties against those who participate in the BDS movement. That's why I co-sponsored HRES 496, to affirm our freedom of speech and right to protest or boycott for any cause, as well as stating opposition to any legislative efforts that seek to restrict these fundamental First Amendment rights. Now, I voted for HRES 246 because I support a two-state solution that provides for the rights of both Israel and Palestine to exist and for their people to live in peace with security in their homes. I don't believe BDS is the way to accomplish that. However, I will continue to defend those who choose to exercise their right to free speech without any threat of legal action. Now, HRS 246 does not in any way limit or hinder our First Amendment rights. In fact, it affirms every American's right to exercise free speech for or against U.S. foreign policy, as well as the right of Israeli and Palestinian people to live in safe and sovereign states, free from fear and violence, and with mutual recognition. Now, the right to protest the actions of our government is essential if America is to truly be a free society. So no matter what our disagreements are about various political positions or choices that our government makes, we can all agree that every American should have the freedom to make those disagreements known and to protest peacefully in support of their views. Wow. So a lot of that was a lot of platitude from Miss Tulsi Gabbard, right? Most of all, she said, I don't believe BDS is the way to go. Right? So so Miss um, Miss uh, Tulsi Gabbard, so you heard her statement, right? And here's the actual. Let's look at the actual resolution two four six. I'll try to keep this simple, right? It talks about all of this. It's one page, right? It's one big blue page, and it says 
Whereas the democratic Jewish state of Israel is a key ally and strategic partner of the United States. Whereas Israel founded in 1948, Congress has repeatedly expressed our nation's unwavering commitment to the security of Israel as a Jewish nation. <sighs> Whereas a hallmark of American democracy for citizens to petition the United States, right? So it goes on and on uh, ratifying, basically, you know, confirming America's commitment to Israel. Uh, why is this? Why is this an issue? Why is this even a bill in Congress talking about a foreign power, defending a foreign power in our Congress, the rights of of speech towards that foreign power? Why is that? Why is that any different than any other country in the world besides Israel? Why is this? Why does Israel get their own little package? Right? Because if you give Israel a package, why not give everybody a, a little uh, a bill in Congress that you know, protects their right to not be boycotted? So it goes on and on to say that, that um, Americans are within their rights to, to, uh, to boycott and, and divest, and, right? and uh, right? they're, they're within their rights to do that. Uh, but, but then it says resolve. Oppose the right, that the House of Representatives opposes the global boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement targeting Israel, including efforts to target United States companies that are engaged in commercial activities that are legal under United States law, and all efforts to to delegitimize the state of Israel. Okay, so Tulsi, you tell me how is it that someone could exercise their right to boycott, divest, and sanction? Right? But there's a resolve by the House of Representatives that opposes it. How, how is that possible? See, you could say it over here, and that's nice language, but the fact is that's just fluff for the main points, which is that the, if the House of Representatives opposes this BDS movement to speak, up about, uh, speak out about Israel and its treatment to the Palestinian people, the apartheid nation of Israel that oppresses the Palestinian people that terrorizes the Palestinian people, that keeps them as third-rate citizens, refuses, us to give, refuses to give them full citizenship, that throws, tosses bombs by a very powerful Israeli military, tossing bombs over the fence at them, blowing them up, confining them to the West Bank, and then once in the West Bank, sending in Jewish settlers to take that land too. So your idea of a two-state system at this point, a two-party two system, is a two... Uh, to um, yeah, state solution is almost ridiculous at this point because the West Bank has been so diluted by by Jewish settlers that how are you going to separate the people? And it's almost becoming an, and and in Israel and in uh, ha, uh, Gaza you got Hamas running amok the, the the duly elected Hamas by the way when America tried to rig the election over there and Hamas won now you got to respect the election uh, so so it's our again it's our, us butting in in Israel. But Israel butting into our, our Congress. So again, how do you, Tulsi and Tulsi's fans, how is it that you can respect people's right to boycott, divest, and sanction the BDS movement, but you then put in a, uh, a, a proposition, a resolve that, number one, says that they oppose it? How, how is both possible? It's not possible. And what's going to happen is, the, 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 if someone boycotts or divests or sanctions, what's going to happen is the, the government's going to go along with it, and then you're going to have to sue to stop it, right? Or vice versa. You're going to get sued, and then a, a ton of lawsuits go, and then you ultimately lose to the, to the, uh, to the power brokers, the corporations. Right? Uh, it, it resolved, urges Palestinian and, and, and Israelis to return to direct negotiations. It's been tried and true over and over again. It doesn't work, right? They, they, they can't come to a, an agreement. Affirms the constitutional right of American citizens to free speech, including the right to protest or criticize the policies of the United States government. Yeah, whoop de doo but you're not allowed to, you could do that, but you're not allowed to, to boycott uh, uh, anything that targets Israel. Right? You, can, you can speak all you want, but don't target Israel. It's crazy, right? This is Tulsi Gabbard. This is bye-bye. Support the full implementation of the United States Israel Act. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Affirms its strong support for a negotiated solution between Israeli and Pakistan Palestinian 
uh, conflicts resolving in the two states. All right. So so now you know what it is, right? It's it has it the the, the bill itself is flawed in that it speaks out of both sides of the mouth. It says that that uh, you have the right to boycott, divest, and speak up and be free speech, and uh, but you don't, you know, but uh, you don't have a right to free speech, right? As long as if it targets Israel, it's it's a flawed, it's a piece of shit. How did this piece of shit get into the House of Representatives and signed by 385 senators? So, so Miss Tulsi Gabbard, I am dead. I am. I am very, very sorry, but uh, the, the Hello, buck stops. Hello, my fellow here. patriots. Sorry. The buck stops here. The buck stops here, man. I, I can't, uh, you know, you know. It reminds me of this right here, right? This is, this is, this is just, just a hell of a video. Just check this shit out, man. Let's see if we can come to a, an agreement. I'll narrate. I'll narrate. This is Tulsi Gabbard. Vote for me. Vote for me. I'm good. You vote for me, and I'm for you. Fill my belly. That's a that's a komodo. What is it? A komodo dragon eating an entire monkey. Ah, come to me. These are the politicians today. Come to me. No, no, no. Come to me. I'm friendly. Look, I'm the friendly lizard. Come to me. Did you see the beginning of it, man? It's just crazy. Fucking oh my god, he ate the whole fucking monkey. Feet and all, man. It's gonna suck down the tail. This is our politicians today, man. Eating you alive if you let them. They're eating you alive. Send me money, man. Send me money. Tulsi, send me money. I get that email every day. Tulsi, send me money. I just, I just took, I just unsubscribed Tulsi Gabbard. Ah, we're almost done. One more bite. Ah. Oh, it was a good meal. That was a good, that was a good video. That was a good meal right there. Uh, so that's Tulsi Gabbard eating you, consuming you, speaking out of both sides of the mouth. She didn't, it didn't take her long to get there. It didn't take her long to graduate to full-blown politician. So, so it's now documented. It's on the record. She, she's not... Um, oh, you know what else we didn't see? I, I forgot. So I, 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 let's play this. This is, a, this is a real American, right? And everybody hates her, and she's a Muslim. Check this shit out. I watched it the other day. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I stand before you as the da- granddaughter of Palestinian. Hey, Tulsi Gabbard, take notes. This is how you, this is how you, this is the response. This is the correct response, not your bullshit, not your fucking f- snowflake bullshit. And grandmother, my city, who yearns to experience equality, human dignity, and freedom. I stand before you, the daughter of Palestinian immigrants, parents who experience being stripped of their human rights, the right to freedom of travel, equal treatment. So I can't stand by and watch this attack on our freedom of speech and the right to boycott the racist policies of the government and the state of Israel. I love our country's freedom of speech, Madam Speaker. Dissent is how we nurture democracy and grow to be better and more humane and just. And this is why I oppose Resolution 243. All Americans have a right, a constitutional right, guaranteed by the First Amendment to freedom of speech, to petition their government and to participate in boycotts. Speech in pursuit of civil and human rights at home and abroad is protected by our First Amendment. That is one reason why our First Amendment is so powerful. With a few exceptions, the government is simply not allowed to discriminate against speech based on its viewpoint or its speaker. The right to boycott is deep. So based on what Rashid al-Talib is saying is that the, the law, this resolution is probably unconstitutional. It, wouldn't, it, 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 um, it violates the First Amendment, the right to free speech, the, vi- the right to choose. Uh, when you say opposes, uh, you know, uh, divestments targeting anybody, including uh, U.S. government, right? So when you say boycott, divest, and sanction, you're talking about speech. You're talking about, you know, actual activity. So Rashida Talib might be right in saying that that the bill is not only bad, but it's probably unconstitutional. So, so this is the way you handle the situation. You don't sign on to a bill that that violates Americans' right to choose and uh, corporations' right to, you know people's rights to boycott certain corporations because they're, they're engaging in 
activity with an apartheid state. So, so that's it, man. I, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard, she's, she was at 1% of the vote. I hope she drops to fucking zero now, man. I hope you drop to zero, Tulsi, man. It's bad news, man. Tulsi Gabbard, bad, bad, bad news. Bad, bad, goodbye, bye, bye, bye.